Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Joey from New England Sports Cards, and today we have recent pickups video number six. So we have a lot of really nice stuff in uh, this week. Uh, nothing huge, uh, just just some nice rookie cards, some nice PC additions. Um, we don't, we didn't, we're gonna have a much bigger week next week, I think. I, I hope so, if the mail isn't too slow. Um, but I, I have uh, gotten some really, really good stuff for next week. But still, this week is definitely not too shabby. Um, picked up a lot of cool cards, um, and I'm just gonna be showing them off to you guys. So, first few cards were a uh, trade with Cade's cards on Instagram. I traded him a couple of the uh, Topps Chrome Freshman Flash uh, inserts for his set. So I traded him the Nico Horner and the Isan Diaz. He traded me uh, Cease Bowman, uh, Brewster Gratterall for the PC, uh, Cease, and a uh, Trent Grisham. So these guys are three of my favorite rookies. Um, I don't officially PC Cease, but I have a ton of his stuff. Um, I, I do PC Gratterall. Um, so some nice cards in for the trade. And then at the same time, he said, if uh, if I'm gonna ship these, I should also ship. We should also work out some other deals. Um, so I bought this big lot of cards from him for like five or six dollars shipped. Um, just really good value. Just a bunch of cards, um, and it, it, it helped him out. So I thought, why not? Um, picked up all of these. So let's just go through. We got a Dylan Carlson 2020 Bowman Chrome, Sean Reed Foley, Alex Young rookie, Shane McClanahan, uh, like a Bowman. Uh, platinum ice i'm not a fan of bowman platinum uh, the autos don't actually sell great and uh i don't think they're sticker autos i just don't love the look of the cards but i think the ice parallels are cool i uh, got a uh 35th anniversary jay cave brown o'hearn shane bieber future stars robert duggar rookie aaron savale rookie travis demerit rookie alex young yu chang michael brousseau he just had a great um home run against our lotus chapman 100 mile per hour fastball he took to the first row of the seats. I was watching that. That was great. Uh, Robo Garcia, Forrest Whitley, Bowman Paper, Brennan McKay rookie. That's pretty good. Greg Allen rookie, Scott Curry rookie debut, Mike Couchman, Miguel Gomez, Andy Pages pro debut, Michael Brousseau, Cole Tucker, an orange of uh, Yelich, Marte, and Rendon, and a Steve Duggar red foil. So some nice cards right there. Nice little stack. Rowdy Telez, uh, Dylan Carlson again, Cedric Mullins, Stadium Club, Nick Solak, Topps Chrome, that is pretty good. Um, he's a new sleeve. Cedric Mullins, uh, Andrew Stevenson, he had a great season. Brendan McKay again, uh, Francisco Mejia, nice Cody Bellinger rookie, that's pretty good. AJ Puck rookie, Jesus Lazardo, Shohei Otani, Matt Vierling, uh, Lord Escariel Jr., Sixto Sanchez, and an amazing season from him. Uh, Alex Blandino. Uh, Doug a red foil. These are actually, I think these few cards were uh, free. He threw these in for free, which I, I mean, I knew all this. It wasn't like a mystery pack or anything. He just, he sent me pictures of all the cards and um, he would add stuff if I said I need a little more um, or if I said I want to pay a little less, but he threw these in completely free. It could tell Marte, uh, Turkey Red Chrome, Hunter Harvey rookie, uh, Gallo, Turkey Red Chrome, and Amanda Machado. So I really appreciate that. Um, we have a Sean Reed Foley, Seth Brown, and a Jordan Yamamoto. So some pretty solid stuff. I mean, nothing huge by any means, but um, just some really, some a lot of true rookies. Um, you know, it's basically all rookies, which I like. I'd rather have rookies than like random inserts, but uh, we got an Abraham Toro, Nate Lau, uh, Alex Young, Francisco Arcia, a couple of Corbin Burns, he had a good season. Brennan Rogers, that's pretty good. Kingery, Joey Lucchesi, Blue Foil. Mariso Dubon, Ryan O'Hearn, Hans Kroos, Bowman Chrome. Tim Kate, Bowman Chrome. Another McKay. Trent Grisham, opening day. Solid. Jordan Yamamoto, Abraham Toro. Another Lucchesi, another Dubon, another Puck. Drew Waters, pro debut. J.D. Davis, Reese McGuire, Alex Young, J.D. Blade, uh, Ryan Helsley, Chrome, Anthony K. Miles Straw, Prism. Uh, I don't have any, I don't even know if I've any, ever opened Baseball Prism for a break or whatever. Um, and speaking of breaks, we uh, did a 2020 Topps Heritage Minor League box break uh, on Instagram last night. 
it was really great. We hit a case hit autograph, a booklet autograph number to 99 of Miguel Vargas. Um, and I got a lot, uh, people really, really liked it. So I decided to drop a three box mixer of 2018, 2019, and 2020 Tops Heritage Minor League. Um, it's 22 per spot for a picked and a random team. There's a ton of amazing spots available. So definitely go check that out if you can. Um, but yeah, back to the video. We got Cedric Mullins, Casey Mize, Luis Arias. That's a good one. I like Arias a lot. Another Toro, Jazz Chisholm, and an Alex Karoloff Bowman Chrome. So really, I really liked uh, really liked that package from Cade's Cards. Really appreciate all the extras um, and the shipping. Great, great packaging. Um, everything in sleeves, which sometimes if people don't ship in sleeves, I don't understand it. Like period, because I don't care how many cards are shipping me, but if you're shipping me ten thousand, I mean, maybe it's different. But if you're shipping me a hundred cards, I expect you to pay the one dollar for sleeves. Um, and you know, if you don't want to pay the $1, I'll pay the $1. I mean, seriously, I've had a guy that got mad at me for asking why he didn't ship a 150 card lot in sleeves and they all came dinged. He's like, I'm not spending a buck 50 on sleeves. I'm like, I'll spend a buck 50 on sleeves. Um, then this lot was a dollar plus uh, four shipping on eBay. I was very happy that I won this auction. Um, I hadn't really been doing eBay auctions for a very long time and I happened to win this. So very happy about this one. Got some uh, Gratterall's for the PC. These do like a dollar each. This was really good value. Uh, his base, some of his turkey red, his archives, his Donruss, nice stadium club. This is like his short, the picture that they used for his short print as well. So that's nice. Uh, got his uh, select, some of his um, green gypsy queens, and a Bowman. If you're wondering why he's on the Twins and the Dodgers, he was traded. When they released Bowman and some other products, he was on the Twins, and then before Series Two, he was he got traded to the Dodgers. So that's why you're gonna see him on two different jerseys. But for some reason, I don't even know why. In Topps Chrome, he's in his Twins jersey for his autograph, but not for his base cards and his parallels, which is totally confusing. Um, but this other, we got another Brewster Grader all in from eBay. This was so nice. I was very happy that I picked that one up. Um, this was about. Three or four dollars. Um, it is a Tops 3D. Uh, this is a Tops like on demand uh, online exclusive. These have a print run of like 300. Um, it's as you can see, it's kind of like a kind of moves, kind of a 3D card. Really, really nice. Um, very happy to have these. These are these are not super common. Um, they're pretty hard to find. Um, this next lot was also on eBay. Another really good value lot. Um, all of this was like eight plus four shipping. Um, and then because he, I had some issues with his packaging, uh, a lot of the cards were like um, in no sleeves and in like yellow top loaders, they were backwards. And that was really annoying. So he, he said, I'm sorry, he refunded the shipping, um, but he couldn't refund anymore, which I was okay with because only a couple of cards were seriously damaged. Um, but yeah, here's what we got. So it was really $8. Um, got a Romeo Langford, came with this big mark um Carson Edwards mosaic I sort of I, I don't really PC the Celtics but I collect the Celtics um and I like I, I mean the Celtics are my favorite basketball team I love some of their rookies Romeo Langford Grant Williams Taco Fall Taco Fall Grant Williams Jason Tatum and then this guy's my PC like I officially PC him and I, I have a ton of his cards Tremont Waters base Tremont Waters base and then the, the whole reason that I bought this lot was for this um blue disco numbered to 85 probably my best uh non-autographed tremont card um so very happy about this one this is super cool super clean um that thankfully came in you know acceptable condition like you know i don't expect cards from ebay to, to jam usually um but it looks pretty nice I, it would probably nine but still nice card um don't know when or if i'll get it graded uh, I usually try and submit a, a bunch of things for grading every couple months, um, but PSA has been super slow. We're, I, I think I'm approaching 100 business days for my last submission, um, which is absolutely insane um, and really pretty unacceptable. Um, they PSA has raised their prices, promising faster turnaround times, but last time they raised their prices, they promised faster turnaround times, which wasn't really accurate. Um, but, you know, we'll see. Maybe they can turn it around. Uh, next card... Probably could have gotten this cheaper on ComC, but I wanted it shipped uh, just right away. It was only a few more cents on eBay. Uh, this was his 2015 Bowman Chrome. Didn't have this one. Uh, 95 cents shipped on eBay. 
why why not um less than a dollar so um won this on auction it was gonna be it was gonna be like 50 or 60 cents on com c but then i have to wait i ship everything at, at a later date so it could be a month or two before i, I actually ship my big order um, cause shipping is so, so expensive and it takes them so long. I want everything in one order. Um, these next cards were actually free throw-ins. Um, someone was paying me for a break through the mail. So they sent me money through the mail. Um, and he gave me, he threw in some cards for my PC, uh, two of which I didn't even have, which was really cool. Um, he threw in this Gratterall rookie. This is from Sports Card Heaven. Really nice dude on Instagram. Highly suggest checking him out. He's also on, uh, YouTube, Daily Sports Talk. And I think he also has a card uh, YouTube, which is, uh, Sports Card Heaven, um, he threw in this Bowman Paper, which is really nice, and then a Bowman Chrome of Devers, so, some nice Devers Bowman for the PC, which I did not have, um, then this card picked up, eBay, five bucks shipped, pretty cheap, pretty nice card, Dylan Cease, uh, Ben Baller, this is super cool. I love the Ben Baller set. I think the cards look great. I think it's way too expensive, like the actual boxes, but it is really, really nice. I think these are actually relatively cheap. Um, and so I picked this up cheap for the stash. I don't call it a PC because I don't officially PC him because then I'd have four, yeah, four PCs because I don't actually, I was only PCing Dalbeck for a couple of days. His stuff is pretty expensive and I didn't didn't want to totally break the bank. I like to PC guys that are cheaper. Um, Devers isn't isn't very cheap, so I don't pick up his expensive stuff very much. But Tremont Waters is pretty cheap. Gratterall's dirt cheap, so I pick up a lot of these guys um, and, and in big bulks. So I'm considering doing that with Cease um, and Sean Murphy, um, but I'm not sure. I don't know if I would want to have five PCs. That's kind of a lot. Um, but you know, I uh, got another Cease in. Also, this was biggest steal of the week. Fifty cents. Uh, 56 cents shipped on eBay. I mean, that's one cent more than the stamp, and then they have to pay fees, so they probably lost money. They probably put... You put these cheap auctions up for, like, feedback, so I'll definitely leave feedback. Um, but a Dylan Cease Refractor, these are probably doing two two or three bucks, um, you know, but I'm probably just gonna hold it. So, nice card. Really, really cheap. Um, I'd, I'd pick this up at the 50 cent bin at a, at a, you know, LCS or a card show every time, so pretty happy to find that on ebay the next card actually this is cool um we picked this up at uh, my lcs um for two dollars a shaquille o'neal uh 1992 gold stamped draft pick um rookie cards so these do like 14 or 15 dollars uh, i'm probably gonna hold it because i think shaq's a great investment i think his stuff is really cheap um and he also signed ttm for me once so you know i like to you know as a thank you, I guess, I'd buy one of his cards, but, uh, I really like Shaq, he's one of my favorite basketball players, um, so I bought that, uh, and then also at the LCS, we picked up all these packs, um, I picked up, I think, 19 packs of, uh, 2019 Top Series 1, um, these were like 2 or $3, I think, uh, and I was selling, I was selling some of these on Instagram, I sold three, and I opened one for myself, uh, I'm probably gonna hold on to these, because I think they're a good investment, I think sealed wax is a good investment, um, so I picked up all of these pretty cheap, um, at my LCS, and gonna hold on to them, hopefully they'll jump in value, they have Lau, Tucker, McNeil, Urias, Loriano, um, Kopech, I'm probably missing some people, but, um, just thought I'd pick some up, uh, and put them in a bag, and put them in my closet or something, and just hold on to them, and, see what happens i once i i bought a i remember buying a chrome update in 2019 a chrome update hobby box or a mega box and i was like i'm definitely gonna hold on to this totally gonna jump in value and then i didn't and i opened it and it was terrible and now they're going for like 60 or 70 bucks so kind of regret that but i don't know uh that's why i'm trying to do it with something uh just like a some some packs of series one so maybe Maybe they'll be really expensive and I'll flip them for a big profit, but who knows. Uh, this next card actually is a bit of a funny story. I bought this card. I won this card in a hit draft. Um, it, uh, it it arrived yesterday. Um, it came from a kid that is kind of known on Instagram now as a scammer. Um, he was doing individual pack breaks of uh, Ben Baller Chrome. So he was doing like, they only have four cards in them. 
um, and like usually one rookie card or parallel or insert or something. And he was actually weighing the packs. So he uh, autographed and numbered cards are slightly thicker stock. So they're a little bit heavier. And he managed to figure out how to do that and uh, was weighing packs. And so he was only opening the base packs for other people. Um, he actually ended up pulling great base cards um, for other people, but still, it was really, really not a good look for him. It was really uh, not not nice. I mean, obviously, it's, it's cheating, that's lying, um, that's scamming, and uh, his dad was involved. It was just a big, big, not not good at all for Instagram, but uh, I did end up winning this card from a hit draft, and he ended up shipping it. Um, I've heard he wasn't shipping a bunch of people's cards um, and uh, my guess is that I'll eventually delete Instagram. He's getting a lot of hate, but, um, yeah, so this came in, uh, Austin Meadows, Gypsy Queen Auto. So I love Austin Meadows. I think he's really cheap. I think he's a stud. Uh, I really, I was really happy to win this auto. This was like spot four or five. So it was a really good draft. Um, picked this bad boy up. Um, that was nice. Then, Mr. Gratterall, negative refractor. Got this for four shipped uh, off Instagram, so super happy about that. Needed this for my, you know, mini rainbow, I guess. Um, really, really cool card. Really cheap, so grabbed that. These next few cards are dollar cards. Picked these up um, off Instagram, AG Sports Cards. Uh, he has dollar sales all the time. I buy stuff from him all the time. Um, he has a really nice deal. So, picked all these up for a dollar each. Javi Baez, opening day. He's cheap. I thought I'd pick that up. Kevin Cron, short print. I have a guy that likes Kevin Cron, so I thought I'd pick that up. Maybe sell for a few bucks profit or just hold on to it. Um, I heard he's pretty good. Um, Dylan Lynch to 25. I'll pick up n uh, low number cards for a dollar every time. Uh, this is one of probably my favorite steal of the sale, the $1 sale. Uh, Jaron Duran, Mojo, Refractor, First Bowman Chrome. These do like five or six bucks by themselves, I think. Um, and that was really nice. I was really happy to pick that up. That's pro I'm probably going to hold that because he's a Red Sox player. I like to have some Red Sox cards. Um, the Red Sox are my favorite team. Uh, Sean Murphy, Refractor. I do really like Sean Murphy, so pick that up. Cardi Kaboom base. Uh, I like Kaboom as well. I don't know if he's really going to be that good, but for a dollar, you know. Uh, an AJ Puck. This is an X Fractor. Love Puck. I'm a huge fan of Puck and Lazardo. I mean, I'm a, basically an A's fan. I love so many A's players. Um, so nice X Fractor there. I don't have any 2020 X Fractors, so that was cool. These are Mega Box exclusive. They're like impossible to find. Um, got a Bull Bull Winter. These do like five bucks, so that was nice. Um, that was cool. This is my first mini card in my collection. It's a Ryan Healy Orange to 25 again. I'll take these low numbered cards for uh, for a dollar every time. So nice Ryan Healy mini. Uh, Mike Soroka base. I think he's gonna have a big bounce back season after um, he was injured. Uh, I think I think he was injured this season. Um, then we have a Brandon Clark Emergent. I've been picking up a lot of Clark, especially on Com C. Um, so I was happy to pick up his Emergent uh, Prism rookie. Nice right there. Got a Kobe Bryant, um, Rip Kobe, uh, his Prism, 2018-19 Prism. I thought I'd pick that up. It does like 15 bucks, 20 bucks, but I'm not sure I'm going to sell it. Uh, just a really nice card and uh, a tribute to a great career um, and a great person. Um, we have a Tristan Cassis Blue, number to 150. That was nice. I like Cassis, so, you know, why not from Pro Debut? Uh, Jonathan India Speckle. I don't know too, too much about him. I just remember he was a top prospect for the Reds. I think he still is. Um, a nice Speckle. I didn't have one of these. They look really cool. Then the final card that we picked up in the sale was this Bo Bichette, Anthony K. Heritage Rookie Stars. Um, I think Heritage cards are undervalued. Um, but especially for how much the boxes are. But still, a uh, nice Bo Bichette. And then the final card of this video, um, we're almost at 20 minutes, so it's been a pretty long video. Um, I got this in a trade with Quality Cards. Uh, really nice guy. Uh, we've done a couple of transactions. He bought some cards for me, and then he said, hey, could I get a discount if I sent you this card? So I essentially bought it from him. Um, relatively cheap, something like 10 or 15 bucks. But I uh, got this. Rafael Devers 2015 Bowman Draft. 
PSA DNA certified authentic rookie autograph. Or not a it's on a rookie card, so that's cool. Um, I was really happy about this because it's in a PSA slab. Um, I really just love PSA slabs. I think they look really cool. Um, it's also on a on a card that I didn't have of him, so that was nice. Um, and the auto is really clean, um, signed in blue, right over the middle. So clashes a little bit with the bat with the dark, but still not a big deal. Really nice card for the PC. Probably one of my best Devers cards that I picked up in the last couple weeks. Um, I haven't picked up anything huge lately of Devers. I picked up his short print. I don't know, but this was a pretty nice Devers auto. My first Devers auto in a while. Um, but yeah, that's the video, everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching. We had a ton, ton, ton of cards. Um, and we're going to have a bunch of cards coming in next week as well. Um, so yeah, thanks guys. Uh, have a great weekend and I will see you later. Bye.